Hey guys, this is Sarah. You are watching Team Urban News. What's good, boss? It's your boy, Peter General, and we're here at Team Urban News. Stay tuned, stay locked. Thank you for coming. Of course, it's always a pleasure. So tell me about yourself. Well, I'm 17. I go to Mission High. Um, I've been doing music for about seven, eight years now. And I'm really into school. I really want to see what they, have, what they have to offer in college, to be honest. Because I like, I like learning new things. That's a good calling. <laughs> so are you looking into colleges? Right now, they got us prepping. So I'm a, I'm a junior. Soon I'll be a senior, and that's when I'll probably have my idea on where I want to go. So are you thinking of pursuing music in school or something else? Um, I mean, music will always be on my mind, but I mean, college, I feel like college always has something to offer, something new, so depending on what they have to offer, it could be anything. I could probably fall in love with English or math or something different, you know? What's your favorite subject? Math. Oh, yeah. that's good. Like most men love math. <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> I don't understand yes. that. Money, yes? Not only that, but I just love I just love working with numbers. It's easier. So you started rapping at nine years old. Yes, ma'am. What made you think that? Um. Well, I was when I was real young, like three years old. My dad would have like his friends come over and he'll put on a song, and I'll get on the like the counter and sing and rap and do things like that. So it was always kind of a thing that my mom knew I had in me. My grandfather did music too. My dad rapped, but. They never really took it anywhere, so it was kind of like, maybe my son could do something. Because I didn't get the chance. Maybe we could turn him into something that we wanna, we, we wanted to do, but you know what I'm saying? Maybe he could just be that one that outbreaks us all. So do you think you took this path because of your surroundings? Or would you have become a rapper regardless? I think it probably would have came natural. Music has always been in me. Like I could listen to when I was younger, I could listen to a song and just know the words in one day. Oh. So it was just like I can't go without music, pretty much. I That's why I was listening. You to, walked in. And yeah, you just listening on. to music exactly. <laughs> like music's always just been my my go-to. Like the best song, the best. I mean. I don't really think there was a best. I think every moment was special. Every moment in creating. From when I was nine, there was a point in time where I didn't even want to record. Until now, it's like, hey, I'll, you could put me in a studio, I'll do it 10 times until it sounds right, you know? So it was never really, I just I just think me growing as a person or as an artist is always special. There was never really a best moment. I cherish every moment that I had doing everything. I mean, you grow. You speak a way, way ahead of your age. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're very mature. So you think that happened because of your exposure to this industry or you've always been mature? I've kind of always been that way. I didn't really have my dad in my life so I kind of had to step up and be the bigger man. I had little brothers too so I'm the oldest. So I got it. You have two brothers? Yeah. One is 14, one is six going on seven. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, I'm the bigger. They, how do you feel about your music? I mean, they've always been supportive. My little brother loves it too. He'll like recite words. That's crazy. Cause I'm getting older. It's like, damn, he's only six going to be seven. And it's like, I'm watching this little dude grow and he's actually reciting my lyrics. It's crazy. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. You, you must be a big inspiration to him. You could say that. That's why I want to go to college. Good. Show them that. That's, that's not, streets is not the only way out. Education is key. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Where do you got this idea from your mom? Or you always... I mean, it's just, been it's been smart. something, yeah. I've always learned, my mo yeah, my mom too, definitely. She's always kept me around, kept me away from the wrong crowds, I could say. And it was never really my, I never really had interest in anything like that. I've lost family members to that life and that It's really not for me. Drugs? Not even drugs, just violence. Violence in general, like, it could be drugs, it could be that, but I just feel there's more to life than wasting it on a corner. I uh, watched a video of a song you made in 
um, uh, relation to the um, Trayvon Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that definitely. Very exciting. Definitely, yeah. I really, I was very impressed with that. Yeah, to me too. I feel like what goes on in the world now is just crazy. A lot of black people losing their lives over unnecessary things. But that's a whole different topic. <laughs> it is, it is. So you think you, uh, your music is going to be um, influencing? I hope so. I'm a, I'm, I'm a teenager getting older, so I'm going to go through things in life. And usually when you hear raps, it's about things that go on in my life in their lives, rap artists' lives, so whatever whatever happens as I grow older, you guys will get to know. <laughs> as far as like being creative, mm -hmm. so I asked earlier, I was telling Sarah that I I would ask you, you know, what, what's, how you find inspiration, what, what does it take for you to get inspired? When are you most inspired, when you're struggling, when you're down, when you're happy with your friends? It's, it's as a, as a rap artist or as an artist in general, everything is, is, is an inspiration. When you're sad, when you're mad, when you're happy, when you see things that are abnormal, you know what I'm saying? Everything's an inspiration. Just talking to you is inspiring me, you know? Because now it's like I have, I have a story to tell. I can go back and be like, well, I did this and this. I remember this day when it was, it was dark and it was cold, but I had to do this. You know what I'm saying? You can always incorporate it. So creativity is everywhere. Colors are creative, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. You got any music artists you look up to that you listen to? I listen to a lot of people. I'm, I like, right now I'm, right now I'm really into Bryson Tillis. Everyone. Pretty, everybody is. Mm -hmm. But I just love the fact how, how he can switch up. I mean, I, I like that type of music. That's my type of, that's my genre of music. What he does, like a Drake, Tory Lanez type thing. Mm -hmm. I don't have like specific artists I listen to all the time. But, you know, those are some people I. So I think I asked you this before, but you don't have a best. You don't think there's a song that you really connect to? Like of my own? Yeah. That you really like? I have a few. Um, there's some that haven't even been released yet, but the process of creating it and. Like the feelings that went behind it and everything was just awesome. Like the people that you are in the studio with, like nobody ever gets to see the behind the scenes. They always get to see the finished product. So it's always great to record. Like it's, that's why I say it's never like a one moment where it's like it's that's the best because every moment is just special. There was times where I cried because I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I just look back at it like, damn, now I actually don't mind doing it over and over and over because I realize if I really want to do something, I want it to be perfect. But as a kid, when I'm nine years old, I'm not, let me sit in the booth all day. I want to, you know, have fun. But as you get older and as a high school student, getting ready to go into college or thinking about college, you got to, you, you think more about your life and long-term goals than Short things you just want to accomplish here and there. You think about lifelong things. How can I support my family? And where I, where do I want people to see me in the next ten years? How do I want to be represented? You know, stuff like that. Build just building character. Mm. Whenever whenever I feel like it's necessary, I usually do. A lot of freestyling. I wouldn't say my freestyling is the best, but you know, it's it's easier to get your ideas out that way. I just feel like whenever there is a moment where it's like, I just gotta get this out. That's when I, you know, pick up the pen and go right. Because you know, my generation is so into technology. We're definitely always on our phone, so that's another that's another alternative. So what's your ultimate goal? Like I said, I don't I don't have a I don't really know. I'm still 17. I got I got more I got relationships to experience. Not even like just with girls, because you know I'm a guy, so if I say relationships, you gotta be girls. But well, you could be gay. Too. No, not and when you're going into the when you're going into the music business, you build relationships with people. Whether it be artists or executive producers or cameramen, you know, just relationships. 
uh, teachers, students, it could be anything. I just feel like relationships are important. Dealing with people is important. Everybody brings something different to the table. You learn from every relationship or any encounter with any person. You learn from it. Whether it be good or bad, you still get something. That's always a learning experience. Definitely. Yeah. My whole thing is, if you love music, you do it because that's what you love. You don't really put it on the pedestal and be like, well, I want to make money off this. I mean, it's always good to make money off of a career. Don't get me wrong. But if you love something, that's not, your, your mind isn't like, oh, I got to make money. It's, I'm doing this because I naturally love this. And whether it makes me money or not, I love doing music, so I'm going to do it. It's, I don't put myself in a in a box or categorize myself because I love doing music. That's just what I love to do. So if it takes me far, if it doesn't, I'm still going to do it because it's something I love. It's something that's in me. So I don't really, I don't really try to put that on, on a high pedestal, I guess. I don't try to overthink it too much. It's just something I like to do. I love to do. So it's, it's always going to be there. There are plenty of artists, very wonderful artists, who are not famous. Now, I, um, she kind of touched on that earlier. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, you mentioned like you do acting, you took acting classes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, would you? Is that is that something you see yourself doing as well? Is when you do get major in the in this business? I think it's always good to tap into different things, you know, try different things. But I never saw myself as like, okay, I want to be an actor. But it's always good to have different things, you know. Like, you don't want to just say, oh, I just do music, you know. But then again, me doing music could lead me to, you know, big acting roles later on down the road. So I don't know. I'm not sure if. That's something that is like my uh, is like my second go-to. I wouldn't say that. It's more of like my fifth go-to. But I, I feel like you do have to, you know, tap into different things. Like I did modeling too. So it's not like I'm just into one thing. But I wouldn't say acting is something that I see myself doing or wanting to like really pursue. If you were to be an actor, what would you a role that you want to become, hmm. what, what role would I want to take on? Yeah. I don't really know. What I'm movie? not really a movie person. Like, I don't, really? I don't even really know movies by titles. Yeah, you, you, you listen <laughs> to music most Yeah, of it's time. just music. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying acting is... It's not... It's not good, but... It's something I don't really put my mind to. I don't really have that much interest, you know. I don't know. So do you have, do you have an actor that you like or an actress? I don't even know actors by names. Like you would, I would have to, I would have to like see them. And you'd be like, oh, that's Tom Cruise. I don't even know my face. I know his name, but if you show me his face, I'd be like, oh yeah, I remember now. I don't really have the names of face. I don't know. I'm just not a movie guy. I know Will Smith. <laughs> but who does it, right? So, um, so you're very focused on a very particular genre of music, and I want to know, like, let's say someone outside your genre of music, like a country artist, hear your song or see you, and be like, Dad, I like this, and I want to do a record with him, but you have no familiar with, with a country song or anything country, so what would what would that would do. That's a good one. That's a good question. I guess I would basically have to <laughs> tap tap into their world and see what's different. But it's always it's always different. It's always I think it's just creative. Like have to have a country artist collaborate with a hip hop artist. They bring two different things to the table. So you never know what we could create. He could probably make a, a, a what is it? A country hip hop song. You never know. Or hip hop country song, you never know. Um, I, I know your mom, like you said, she's, she's like your biggest supporter. Um, and 
you, you, to you, making money in music is not your concern. You said what? I, I said your mom, she's very, she's been your biggest supporter since day one when it comes to this music. Mm -hmm. Because she want to see you successful. Yes, she, she don't want to see you go to the struggle I believe she went through or, or people in your family went through. Mm -hmm. And, but as an artist, you don't really care about making money of this music. If you do, great. If you don't, oh well. But at, I know for your mom, that's not what she wants from you. So how do you balance, like, making your mom happy? <laughs> like, oh, and, man. And that's making, a great question. Making you happy yeah. because I know, I, know that I know being in your position, and I also understand being in her position. He want to know if you're going to make your mama's money back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you didn't even remember. I'm going to free right now. Like, but. A, a smile on our mom's face with what we do. But for me, it's like, I'm, like I said, I'm 17. I got years, you know what I'm saying? Years to rise up and grow. So for me, it's more so learning myself, knowing who I truly am. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just 17. When you're a teenager, you think you got everything figured out until the real world hits you, and then you realize and you learn about. Well, oh, damn, I didn't know about. I didn't know that about myself until you get in a position where it's like you become you become uncomfortable because you're now you're out your you're out your comfort zone. You're not in that box that you're so comfortable in. You're 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 being exposed to different things. So I'm just focused on growing and becoming a better person. And just rising up. So that way when it comes to music, it wouldn't be so different to ar articulate my ideas and feelings into it. Because I know that I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? Of course you all, like, anybody wants, anybody that has a great supporting parent or just a great support system anywhere wants to give back. But I think it's more so of just me growing and just learning myself. Where you at? Like I do, I do music because that's like I said, that's what I love to do. It's not so. I mean, if money will come if your if your music's great because it, it happens. Some people put on music just because and they blow up. But I do music because that's what I love to do. If you really love something, do you really have to put money on it? I mean, money's gonna come regardless. But if you love something, you're gonna do it regardless whether money's there. That's not the. It's never the motive. If you love something. Do it because you love it, not because I want to put money on it. Money's always gonna come if your music's hot. It's gonna blow. It's gonna come Nobody can come stop that. All the time. You know what I'm saying? Like people put stuff on Facebook all the time, not expecting to blow, but it just happens to become popular. You know? Some people do stupid things in their house and like, let me just post it and show the world. And next thing you know, it's like, oh, did you see what so and so did? And it's like the talk of the whole world, you know? So it's not. It's not because they're doing it because, hey, I just want to, you know, some people actually do it, but for the people that do it because they genuinely care for whatever they're putting their mind to, money, money is never something that you, you want to, you want to keep on your head for me, because if that's the case, then it's like, what's the point of doing it if all I care about is the money? I could just be making trash music just for the money, but that's not what it is because I genuinely care for the music. That's it. I definitely agree. What are you battling? I just feel like I gotta grow as a person. Like, I gotta get to know who I really am. And I feel like just just building that independent like I'm 17 I still live with my mom when I get out the house that's when you're doing you're paying rent you know what I'm saying you're building independence you're doing things on your own you're not looking for old mom to do this for you when you go to college you're on your own I feel like I make my own decisions now to an extent not like oh I can go leave the house whenever I want but like, like the little things, I have my little, I can put my little to spice yeah. But I don't have full control over what, I, what it is that I want to do. Like I, like I always bring up college because college has everything, a lot of things to offer. I'm not saying that I don't want to do music, because when you go to college, there's people that you meet that also like music. You meet people that do music, there's things that you can do. 
I'm just so concerned on learning how to deal with people in the real world. That's my concern. How to maneuver and not be, not be sucked into a, a box. I don't know. I think you just learn to fly so you know what it is. I'm still a teenager, you know. I don't have I don't have the full control over my life. So until I get that, is when I feel like I'll be at the point where I'm she wants me. She she supports anything I want to do, but she feels as if you know the music. Take, we've been doing it for eight years. She wants it to go far. As much as I want it to go far. But like I said I just need to experience. Oh, exactly. nice. I can't. My mom's not there to right. make you, this important. I, I can you know what I'm saying? She will always. But she will always. She'll there. always. Uh, and that's. And that's. <laughs> my that's mother is that type of person. Oh, she's always she gonna will. be there, no <laughs> matter what. You is your mom still there? She's yeah. always gonna be there, no matter what. But. Right. Yeah. And it, it it will help. It will help you too. Definitely. My mom still helps me when I. Of course, they're not gonna. Me too. They're not gonna <laughs> forget you. That you're you're their kid, whether you're an adult or not. Yeah. So don't so don't think that it's gonna be really difficult or you, you don't know how you're gonna handle it. It's gonna be great, and you always have. I'm just. I'm have looking. I'm looking. Wait, I'm looking so forward to that. Like you know, just been being on my own. <laughs> because you know because she's a strong she woman does. and she takes care of three boys on her own. Mm. It's just ridiculous. Single mothers are. Yeah. I think they're the heroes of our society. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And I just want to be. A, I just want to be the best person I could be. I think that's what. It, that's what's that's more cool. important to me than the music and all that. Just being the best person I could be, and being comfortable with mm -hmm. that person that I am. Absolutely. That's an advice that I think everybody should right. take. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because nothing. 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 Nothing in life is ever gonna go right if you don't feel comfortable. I mean, it is okay to step out of your comfort zone sometimes, but everybody wants to feel comfortable with anything. It just builds confidence. You feel more confident doing those things, you know? Um, I just find that uh, some rap songs, when they have the chorus, I feel like kind of... Oh, it's definitely dope. Like, Tink, she's, she's kind of blowing up. Not a lot of, I'm not sure if a lot of people know her, but you guys know her? I've heard no, of her. Chicago. Mm -hmm. She's nice. I like the way she sings. And there's another artist that I know she's a chick too, but I don't know how to pronounce her name. But she's nice. I like girls that sing. I like singing music. I like the whole arm. What's up? It's your boy Young Dapper, and I'm here with Teen Urban News. We just broke it down and had a good conversation. I appreciate you guys for having me.